Hello and welcome to my private site. Today we're going to talk about the public pages extension. My name is David Gortz and I'm the developer of all of this. So the way we can get to that is going to the, we're on the My Private Site homepage is to click on Get Add-ons and Extensions. And there's both selective content and public pages and I'm actually working on quite a few others so they'll be showing up here as well. For now, we're going to talk about public pages which allows site operators to designate certain pages or pages with a specific, re it's hard to say that, that allows site operators to designate certain pages or pages with certain prefixes to be available to the public without login. And this is a really powerful capability once you start to think about how you can use this and how this can extend what you present to outside users versus what you present to logged in users. So let's switch over to the plugin. And right now, my private site is active, uh, but the public pages plugin is not. We'll activate that in a moment. I want to show you something on my private site first, and that's that right now the my private site privacy is off. So the site is not private. And we'll come over to our test site. And as you can see here, we can move around to any of these lovely pages provided by the WordPress test data database. And I'm moving around the pages and there's complete access to the whole thing. Now, it turns out that this, this site has a number of pages in groups. It has like this Laura Ipsum page. Uh, it has a privacy policy, which you can get to from the login page. Um, these tests, let me grab the URL for this and show you, are all, all begin with the about URL. So these are all about clearing fonts or about pages with comments. And then this series of pages all begin with category, category template two, whoops, category media two, and so forth. So there is a structure to this site. And with that, let's go get started and we'll come over here. And the very first thing we're gonna do is protect the site. And if I go to ZDebug, now we can't log in. I mean, now we can't get into the site without a login. You can't get to the privacy policy page, for example. You can't go back to the demo site and so forth. Right now, all you can do is you can see uh, the login notice. Now, as the earlier tutorial showed, you can change the home page and make the home page accessible. So we'll do that briefly. And now if we come back here and we go to, let's just click the back to demo site, we can go to the home page. But again, we can't go to the Lorem Ipsum page. We can't go to the privacy policy page. We can't do any of those things. What if we wanted to, for example, enable the privacy policy and freeze out everything else? Well, we can do that with public pages. So let's start with that one first. So I'm gonna go over to plugins. Oh, actually, I wanna point something out first. Notice that this tab here is home page. I'm gonna change that when we enable this plugin because this tab right now just controls site home. But if we enable the plugin, if we enable public pages, and then we come back here, you can see that that tab is now public pages and it controls quite a bit more. It, first off, it's got what pages are public and what pages can be specified in, as public, which is why home page is public down here is down here and we can specify various pages we wanna make available to the public. So let's go over to um, all pages. Let's view the privacy policy from the logged in perspective and let's grab its URL, okay? We'll go back to the dashboard and go back to public pages. And just in case you, you haven't just frequently, just, excuse me, just recently watched the overall tutorial. I'm logged in here uh, as an admin with um, access to a non-incognito page. And here I'm logged in as um, on an incognito site on a private page so that I'm able to separate the two logins so that you can see this not being logged in and this being logged in and see the difference. Okay. So what we wanted to do, if you recall, is we wanted to be able to make that privacy policy visible as well as the home page. And we're gonna do that with public pages. So we're going to add a public URL and make page public. And you notice that now it comes down here and is visible. 
So if I go, for example, back to one of the pages that causes a login and now I hit privacy policy, now privacy policy is also visible to the public, which is great. Now, what if I also wanted to make available the rest of all about the tests? So what if I wanted to make clearing floats, pages with comments, and pages with comments disabled available to everybody? How would I do that? Well, if you recall, each of these, actually, you can't recall because I'm not logged in. Let's log in. Okay, let's go to one of those pages. Log in. There we go. Okay, now let's go to that page. That's better. If you recall, they begin with a URL about. So it's zdebug.com slash about. So let's grab this whole URL. Log back out just so that I'm not, oop, there we go again. I keep clicking that in the wrong place. Okay, go back to the demo site. So we're logged out there. We'll come back here. And this time I'm going to add a public URL. But I don't want to just make clearing floats available. I want to make everything that is got the about prefix available. So I'm going to turn on and click use URL prefix. Any URLs that begin with the above prefix will be public and visible. I'm going to make that public. And so now you see we have public URL prefixes and public URLs. So I'm still not logged in, which means if I go, for example, to this page, I'll get an error. But now if I go to any of the about the texts, tests, I can see all of these. But if I go to any of the categories, I can't. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to begin to develop a series of pages that are public and a series of pages that are private. I'm going to add one more to create a full set. So let's go back over here. Actually, let's log in. And I'll grab the lorem ipsum URL as well, and then I'll log back out. And I'll make that public. So as you can see now, there's two URLs that are specific pages, and then there's one prefix thing that are pay that are public. So essentially, I've created a site map of what's available to the public, and anything left is not available to the public. So when I come back here now and I go back to the demo site, you can see that lorem ipsum is available, all of the about the tests are available. The privacy policy is available, but nothing in this area is available. So what that would allow you to do is that would allow you to set up a site that has a public section for anybody to see and maybe a private section for members or family members or students or something like that. And that's really it. That is my private site in a nutshell um, with the public pages add-on. So all you need to do is go to the extensions page on zatslabs.com. If you come up here, you'll see that under products, there's plugins and extensions, and that will give you these features, or just from within your plugin, hit add-ons, and you'll be able to see those. And there you are, they're all available. Oh, and I will tell you also that um, when you get it, you need to hit licenses and put in your license code. So once again, for my private site, my name is David Gortz. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great time, and I hope you really enjoy the features of this plugin. It's been, uh, been fun to build. Thanks a lot.